because you're not voting for me. You're not voting for the Liberal Party. You're voting for yourselves. You're voting for your communities. You're voting for your extraordinary project of a country, this glorious Canada that needs all of us to pull together with the big-heartedness and broad-mindedness that has always defined this country, to pull together and say, we're better than this, we can do better than this, and with hope and hard work, we will do better than this. Merci beaucoup, mes amis. It has allowed us to be that one country in the world that looks beyond differences, that understands that we are not defined by our origins, by our culture, by our religion, by our language. We are defined by our values. Values of openness, respect, willingness to work hard, a desire to be there for each other, compassion, a search for justice, for equality. These are the things that define our country. These are the things that define us as Canadians. Here, here. But let's be honest, this is something that has faltered in the past years. And people can't quite even put their finger on it. Why? Because the country seems to be doing well? Because we're doing better than Spain or Greece, as this government keeps telling us. So why are we uncertain? More importantly, why do we have a government that is able to play up divisiveness and negativity in a way that never really had much traction in Canada before. What has changed? Well, what has changed is people are beginning to realize that even though over the past 30 years our economy has done extremely well, the Canadian economy has grown more than 100%, more than double in size, over that same time period, in real terms, Canadians haven't had a raise. We haven't had more than a 13% growth in salaries when you talk about median family incomes. That's average middle class incomes. So, incomes are stalling, costs are rising, and therefore, personal and household debts are exploding. And people are beginning to be worried that the challenges we're facing of building a modern, progressive, 21st century economy that has opportunities and work and good jobs for everyone might be beyond our reach. And as people believe less in our capacity together to build a strong set of solutions that will work both for the country and for our families and community, people naturally turn in on themselves. That's what we've been seeing over the past years. As people turn away from expecting that we're going to be able to generate big solutions. They turn away from believing that government can play a role and offering opportunities and possibility to Canadian families, to the hardworking middle class Canadians who define the strength of this country. But everywhere across this country, what I've seen is even though we know we're becoming cynical about politics, we're also tired of being cynical about politics. We know we can do better. We know we have to do better. And that's why in hall after hall, communities from Padoka, Alberta, to Lewisport, Newfoundland, from Vancouver Island, to Southern, G uh, the Southern, uh, Southern Point, of Ontario, near Point Pelion, St. Thomas. Canadians have come.